Here we have our microscope, which has got its cover on. We always want to keep the cover on so that we keep the dust off uh, and keep the microscope in the best condition possible. So whenever you're not using it, make sure you have the cover back on. So I'm going to take the cover off. And here we can see we've got the base, we've got the um, light source at the bottom here. Here you have your stage, which you can move around with these adjusting points. So you can just play around with those. And this is the clip to keep your uh, microscope in place. Um, here we have our various objectives in terms of what, what we're going to magnify our sample at. And obviously we can look through the, uh, the um, scope through these eyepieces. Okay, so we've just had a bit of a change of scene while I continue to make this video. Um, you'll see from the background, I've moved to my house from the lab because we are currently filming this during the COVID-19 um, time frame. So bear with the background and you can probably see the cats in the background there. She'll probably move in a minute. Okay, so the next point I want to make in this video is about adjusting the eyepieces to suit your particular eyesight. So most people's eyes um, are fine, but some people's eyes are slightly different in terms of the clarity of their vision, which is usually corrected with glasses or uh, lenses. And we can actually adjust the microscope using these eyepieces um, to suit our individual eyes. So each user will probably have a specific setup to them. And the way to do this is um, usually what you would do is you'd have your sample on your on your um, stage. You'd then use the coarse and fine adjustment to get the focus of the of the sample um, that you have in your slide here. And then what you would do is you would close your right eye and keep your left eye open and continue to adjust that until the image in your left eye is completely clear. And then what you need to do then is close your left eye. Once you've got the, you're happy with that setting, you close your left eye and then open your right eye. And then you can fine tune and adjust there so that until the um, image in your right eye is completely clear. And then you can open both eyes once you're happy with that. And then hopefully you'll see that the image is completely clear for your vision. And you can keep correcting that until, uh, until you're happy with the setting. And as you've probably already discovered, you know, these can be just as well to the, to the width of your eyes. Good general care with the microscope um, is always to make sure that it's switched off. So here I've got it plugged into the power. There's a switch on the side here. Uh, I'll move that slide so you can see. There's a switch on the side here for the light source. So I'm going to switch that on. You can see the light go on there. Now one thing you should always make sure and get into the habit of doing, and maybe what you can have to help remind you is put a sticky note somewhere, is to always switch this off whenever you're not using this. So if you're leaving the microscope for five minutes, what you're doing is you're, um, you're burning time on what can be quite expensive um, bulbs. Here we have a halogen bulb. Uh, but in other scopes there are LED bulbs which have a longer lifetime. But they're very expensive and they're a bit time consuming to replace and it can um, make this unnecessarily hot which is not good when you're dealing with live samples. So you want to make sure that this is always off and when you're not using anything um, that the cover is on the microscope. So that's just good general working practice uh, in terms of making sure you keep an eye, you can look after your scope well.